Note-taking, a vital skill in the 21st century. But how do we develop those skills throughout the students' K-12 learning experiences? Let's take a look. Hey, Sus, what's up? What you doing? Hi, Alexis. I'm studying for Ms. Nohar's test, and I am really nervous. Oh, I, I have that test tomorrow, too. We, we should study together, don't we? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, uh, I'll ask a question. Um, how do I on a compound exist? How do I... Oh my god, I thought I had my notes here. Here, let me take a look. These are your notes? You have chemistry and basketball together. How does that even work? Dude? Th th this is literally a mess. I don't know. I guess I try to read it when I study. You I need know. to be more organized with your notes, like this. See, I have it, you know, separated by subject. So this is my chemistry note. You shouldn't mix notes together. It's just not good. That is so neat. Can you teach me? Of course, dude. I mean, all it's gonna cost you is that bag of goldfish right there, because I kind of miss lunch and I can kind of use some food right now. I mean, if it gets me to study and have my notes look like that, here you go. Thanks, dude. You're a real one. All right, let's get started. So, questions, the answers, summary. You're gonna draw right there, right there, yeah. right there, and always put your topic on the top so you know which subject. You Thank you. No problem. You put three facts in here and then this you put two questions in here that the book didn't answer and this you draw a picture of a rainbow whatever you um the colors you need to put in our teacher told us to put the questions here and then after that she told us to put the facts here students begin to develop skills to improve their recall at a very early age when children are young, we engage in mimicry with a child to help them remember words and actions. When they begin their educational careers in Sunnyside, they continue this process by repeating what the teacher models for them. By helping students organize their thoughts into specific sections on a page, teachers are helping to develop foundational skills students will need throughout life. Because whenever I don't remember, I can just look at it and it will make me remember again. There is a great degree of positive reinforcement to keep their words and images on the lines and spaces provided. As students grow, they can begin to praise each other for these same efforts. I personally like notes because it helps me like know what I'm actually reading or talking about. I take notes because it helps improve my like vocabulary and like um it helps me memorize once I'm finished with like a passage and I take notes on it. It helps me remember what I was reading. In the intermediate grades, students are reminded of some of the graphic organizers they used in the primary. At this time, it is important for students to begin making connections with why some graphic organizers make more sense for some information than they do for others. For example, a Venn diagram is great for demonstrating similarities and differences, while a Friar model is great for learning new terms or concepts. The type of organizer I would use to memorize the vocabulary words would be the three column notes, where you have like the one column where the teacher asks you a question. You have to answer it on the second. On the third column, you have to ask questions if you're curious. Um, the type of organizer I would use, use to um, find the similarities and the difference between certain subjects would be either event diagram or t char chart 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 a Venn diagram you can it's like two circles overlapping and so in the middle you write the similarities and like where it's not overlapping the differences I know I'm taking my notes correctly when I agree with my peers and when I get a question correctly I also model it exactly how my teacher does Teachers are now explicitly modeling note-taking skills by guiding students through the two-column and three-column note-taking structure, using the STAR note-taking process as the foundation from which all notes shall be taken. STAR stands for Set Up Notes, Take Notes, Add to Your Notes, and Review or Revise Your Notes. Though there is still a great deal of modeling occurring in grades 3 through 5, it is crucial that students begin to use assessments that help them reflect on and analyze their note-taking skills. 
For the most part, this analysis is focused on the presence of key note-taking elements. What I think of note-taking is it's really helpful for me and it, it succeeds because when it comes to tests, I could just review it and then it's there. When I use the interactive notebook, it helps me be organized because like if you need to put a picture but you can't and like on the notebook where you can't draw it, just get an image and then just put on the interactive notebook and it'll help you. Once students have been promoted to grades six through eight, they are ready to dig deeper into their note-taking process through greater incorporation of the interactive notebook. It is at this time that students are encouraged to make more independent choices regarding their notes. Teachers can introduce multiple learning style strategies in increments and provide models for these interactive notebook left-hand side activity ideas. Once students have become familiar with the strategy, they can begin to choose from a specific selection that the teacher provides that makes sense to them. Additionally, focused note-taking or layered notes becomes a standard expectation. Students should regularly interact with their notes through the process of adding to their notes by processing steps, drawing diagrams or icons, circling or highlighting key information and terms, or even providing further clarification to their existing notes. Students' notes will have highlights, colors, quality summaries, quality headers, and evidence of inquiry. And throughout this time, students will assess and evaluate their note-taking processes. What I do to review my notes is if there's a question that I don't know, you could just ask a partner that, like, that say you are here and you need it, just ask a partner and then or you could just um, see if it sounds right or not and like ask a teacher if it is. So sometimes our teachers let us use notes in class or exams or tests so it can show us that we're taking good notes and sometimes they will not let us so we will know that we're not gonna what's, what's it called um so we will know the answers without using our notes. We did a civics test not that long ago, and like we practiced it on and on. And like what I did was like just like read it and tell the answer, then flip it, and like see if it's right. So what you could do is just write the question out that you have on the left side, and then like cover it, and then like if it's there, you got it right. By the time students have entered high school, they have experienced several different methods of processing information. When we usually take notes, the teacher is on like the, having a lecture and stuff during class. So when she's mentioning something that's really important, she usually says, "Oh, make sure that you write this down." I highlight like what the topic is, and then I also highlight what those sections are. In addition to two and three column notes and the Cornell Way note-taking processes, students will have experienced various graphic organizers or left-hand side interactive notebook activities. As a result. Students may only need to be reminded from time to time of the resources and skills that they have at their disposal when making choices on how to process the information they are learning in even more advanced coursework. My favorite type of note that I prefer to use are Cornell notes because it helps me with my test more. And I feel like it helps me more because the questions and the main ideas will be on the left side of the notes and then all my notes would actually be on the right side so it helps me see my answers and what I need to look for. So when I do um, do the graphs and all that I usually write down uh, what the graph means like the data tables and I write down what the important factors are for it. Students should still be provided plenty of opportunities to reflect on their learning style and preferred methods of studying so that they can continue to grow and strengthen these skills throughout their final years as students in Sunnyside. So I usually look at my notes independently and she usually gives us time to uh, collaborate with like our peers and stuff inside the classroom. So that usually gives me um, more insight on what it is that we need to study. In. Um, my taking my, my notes like while taking it before taking a test and studying for it is basically everything it's essential and it is important because it's what we need to know before the test so it just helps me study i wouldn't have the a's and b's that i have right now if i wouldn't take notes because before in the past i didn't take notes i didn't like to take notes i would just ignore the teacher and be like whatever i can remember this later and I never did, and I failed tests and stuff. And I usually do have test, test anxiety as well, but ever since I started taking notes, I feel like that has reduced and gone away a lot. So 
ever since I started taking the notes and everything, it's helped me succeed more and be better in school. Having refined their practice over time, students are now better prepared to apply these note-taking skills in higher education or the workforce.